and welcome to Buena Vista Museum's Sharks A to Z presentation. I'm Scott Bennett, also known as the Sharkinator. Buena Vista Museum is located at 2018 Chester Street in Bakersfield, California. For more information, please visit their website. I have noticed a lot of Google pictures of sharks are incorrect, unless you're looking for gray whites. So I decided to make this PowerPoint for a quick shark species reference guide. About me, Scott Bennett, I've been studying sharks most of my life. I got my first shark book when I was seven. I was a self-taught science teacher at the Buena Vista High School in Taft and taught summer shark camp at the Buena Vista Museum for eight years in Bakersfield. I was filmed for, but cut from the Sharkzilla Shark Week episode. I have swam with whale sharks, cage dive with great whites, and participated in a lot of triathlons, which means I've swam with sharks a lot. If you swam out past the breakers in the ocean, you have swam with sharks. Whenever possible, I show an example of the teeth, shark teeth that I'm talking about from the jaw, if possible. This particular one is a reconstructed big tooth mako that's on display at the museum. Every effort has been taken not to accidentally use copyrighted pictures without due credit. I encourage you to look up sharks that interest you on the internet. You'll find better pictures and more information. Most sharks must swim to breathe. Sharks with a spherical can breathe while motionless. See the asterisk. Most sharks have live birth, but some lay eggs. Notice the plus sign. Some do both. No shark can swim backwards, but cartilage skeletons allow them to turn around easily. By definition, all sharks have teeth, including plankton eaters. Most sharks have five gill slits. A few have six. They're the cow sharks, one saw shark, and frilled sharks. One has seven, the broad nose. Glossary, bycatch, means accidentally caught. Conservation status is the shark endangered. Notice the parentheses. CS. Epoch is a smaller, more exact time period. Million years, capital M, small a. Requiem means they migrate. Spherical, the hole behind the eye on some sharks used for breathing. Time periods categorize different stages of Earth's development. Variants are slight differences within the same shark order or species. Okay, starting A to Z with the angel sharks up to seven foot long. They're often confused for rays and found buried in the sand in warm, shallow waters. The Arculatus, giant mackerel shark up to 45 foot long. Megalodons probably evolved from this species. The basking shark grows over to 40 feet long. It's a slow-moving plankton eater and the second largest living shark. Black tip sharks are about five feet long. It's a warm water requiem shark, meaning migratory. It's often mistaken as just a root shark. Blue shark, also known as the blue whaler, up to 12 feet long, is a requiem shark found worldwide in warm water. Bramble sharks up to 10 feet long. They're rarely seen deep water sharks. However, it is known that their skin is covered by a foul smelling mucus. Broadnose shark, also known as the only seven gill up to 10 feet long. It's a deep water shark and you can tell by looking at its teeth that it's closely related to cow sharks. Bronze whaler, also known as the copper shark, up to 11 foot long. It's a warm water shark found worldwide. 
Bull shark, also known as the Zambezi in Africa, up to 12 foot long. It can survive indefinitely in fresh water, is blamed for many human attacks in rivers and even lakes. It's ill-tempered and aggressive. Personally, I think it is the most dangerous shark on the planet. Bullhead sharks, also known as horn sharks, up to five feet, found in shallow waters off California's Pacific coast. Chimera, also known as the ghost shark, is closely related to, but not a true shark. It lives in the deep ocean. The Cladocelash form, I probably said that name wrong, sorry. It's about six foot long. It's a shallow water, was a shallow water shark found in the Western Interior Seaway from North America about 90 million years ago. Cookie cutter shark, also known as the cigar shark, growing up to two feet. Its two inch bite looks like an Oreo cookie. It has only one known human attack and they do glow in the dark. Bell shark, also known as the blunt nose, up to 18 feet. It's a rare deep water shark and one of the older living shark species. Protoxyrhina, also known as the Ginzu shark. You find them in the western interior waterway in the United States 100 million years ago. Dogfish, also known as cat sharks, up to five feet, one of the more common sharks in the world. Dusky sharks, up to 14 feet, a requiem shark found in warm waters worldwide. Let shark, found on the north coast of Australia. They can actually walk on the ocean floor using their fins. Grilled shark, up to seven feet. Rarely seen deep water shark with really scary teeth. Apicose shark, 10 foot. A wreck rim shark that's confused for other reef sharks also found in warm water. Goblin shark, make sure you check out the internet for better pictures and a video on YouTube that shows them biting they can extend their jaws all the way out to the end of the nose. It's really creepy. The great white shark, I believe they could get up to 30 feet long, although that would be a rarity. It's the world's most recognizable shark, and I was there when this picture was taken. By the way, he was about a 15-foot shark. Greenland shark, often confused with sleeper sharks, growing up to 25 foot. They're the longest living shark over 300 years. Their flesh is toxic because of natural antifreeze. The Greenland sharks have an eye parasite which blinds them, but they get along just fine. Gopher shark, three foot. They're a deep water shark with large green eyes. Hammerhead sharks grow over 20 feet long. They have 360 degree vision and their heads can measure over five feet wide. They do get suntans. Helicoprion, also known as the buzzsaw shark, growing up to 40 feet. They're a very large shark for the time period. There's still debate as to where the tooth whirl was. I believe it would have been in the lower jaw as shown in the picture. Hybrid shark, brand new species, seven foot long. It's a cross between a black tip and Australian black tip shark. It's evolution in action. Lemon sharks going up to 10 feet long. There are warm water shark found worldwide. Leopard shark, also known as the hound shark, up to five feet. They're commonly seen in aquariums and found along the North American Pacific coast. What's the disjonsorium shark, up to five feet? 
Little is known about this freshwater Jurassic shark. It's a really cool drawing, but except for the dorsal spines, it's pretty much inaccurate. A shark would never have pectoral fins with spikes on them, or not that many anyway. Magmadon shark, also known as the lava shark, growing up to 30 feet long. They swam in volcano lava, feeding on dead animals. It, it was really kind of fun. A teacher friend of mine talked me into making up this shark lesson for shark summer shark camp at school. It took me 20 to 30 hours, and it's kind of funny. It wound up becoming one of the students' favorite sharks. Nickel shark, also known as the bonito, 12 foot long. Often mistaken as a skinny great white. It's the fastest shark, at least 30 miles per hour, possibly 60. They can jump in the air to 30 feet when they're hooked on a fishing line, making them a fisherman favorite. Okay, uh, the next three sharks are Bakersfield sharks, the big tooth mako. They often call them monster makos and likely evolved into modern great whites. Also from Bakersfield, the hook tooth mako shark, going up to 25 foot, although that would be a rarity, but I've seen some teeth that justify that number. Its fossil teeth are only found in Southern California, particularly Bakersfield. It took five years and over 800 teeth to get the right combination to make this dentation. It's on display at the Buena Vista Museum, and thanks to a couple of fossil collector friends that made this possible. Shark fin mako shark, also known as the eye tooth. Not a lot of information was available on this shark. And while we're on the subject of extinct shark, there's still a lot of debate and discussion on what teeth belong to what shark. For example, shark experts had all the teeth belonging to the same megalodon, but it still took them 10 years to get it together in the correct order. Okay, the megalodon shark, also known as the meg or big tooth, 70 foot. It's the largest shark to have ever lived. Yes, I was at the Sharkzilla filming. This is only a medium-sized model. I'm the young man on the right in the blue shirt, in case you're wondering. Or Megalodon. Based upon measurements of teeth I've been able to get my hands on and look at, they could have easily grown over 70 feet. A lot of people would like them to still exist, but there's no good evidence that they're still around. Uh, the Megalodon cast and Great White cast are on display at the Buena Vista Museum in Bakersfield if you'd like to go see them for yourself. Mega Mouse Shark. Rarely seen, they have very small teeth, but their mouths glow in the dark that attracts plankton to their doom. The Oceanic White Tip Shark, up to 10 feet. They're found in warm, open waters. They're a very dangerous shark. They have been involved in many shipwreck shark attack feeding frenzies, including the USS Indianapolis disaster. Otis, giant mackerel teeth up to 30 feet long. Many 60 million year old Otis teeth from Morocco are sold worldwide as necklaces. In fact, you could probably buy one from the Buena Vista Museum's gift shop. Pajama sharks, also known as striped cat sharks, up to three and a half feet. A coastal shallow water shark found only in South Africa. The nurse shark often lie on the bottom of the ocean floor and unfortunately they get stepped on and that's when they bite people. Or beagle shark up to 10 feet. It's a cold water shark that looks similar to a mako. They're often used as English fish and chips and you'll find them typically around England and 
Northern Europe. Port Jackson shark, six foot long, typically found in Australia, and they're a nocturnal egg laying shark. Okay, the pygmy lantern shark, also known as the dwarf shark. It's the smallest shark. It's a deep water shark that glows in the dark. Reef sharks, clockwise, top left. We have the gray shark, the black tip, the Caribbean, and white tip, up to eight feet. Common sharks found in warm water. River sharks, also known as Giffus sharks, clockwise from top left. You have the Ganges, Speartooth, and Northern River, up to eight feet long. The bull shark is sometimes considered a river shark, but I gave it its own page. All but the Ganges can tolerate fresh and salt water, and they're very rarely seen. In fact, I couldn't find very many pictures, if at all. Salmon shark, 14 feet long. They get their name from chasing salmon. They look similar to a uh, great white but they live in Arctic waters. They may be as fast as a mako. Uh, uh, salmon shark jaw and some of their vertebrates. Sand tiger shark, also known as the ragged tooth shark up to 11 foot. The sand tiger shark is a very recognizable shark often seen in aquariums. And if you ever visit the uh, Golden Nugget Hotel on Fremont Street in Las Vegas. They have a swimming pool with a shark tank, and you can see them there. It's worth your time. Big Eye Sand Tiger Shark, also known as the Big Eye Ragged Tooth Shark, up to 12 feet. It's a very rarely seen deep water shark, noted for their dark brown color and scary orange eyes, not to mention their scary teeth. Saw sharks up to five feet, often confused for the much larger soft fish. And yes, they use the saw as a sword to kill their prey. I decided to include the soft fish up to 25 foot long. It's often thought of as a shark, but they're more related to stingrays who aren't sharks either. Yes, they do use their saw as a sword to kill their prey. I stayed far away from the one in Atlanta aquarium I was swimming with. I didn't want to have anything to do with him. Silky shark, shark known by many other names, up to eight foot long, and it's a requiem shark, often mistaken as just a reef shark. Silver tip shark, 10 foot. It's a requiem shark, similar to a gray reef shark, but it does have silver tip fins. The Pacific sleeper shark, very scary teeth. It's a deep water Arctic shark. They're closely related to the Greenland shark, but they're much darker and they don't have the eye parasite. Their natural antifreeze is toxic. They got their name because if you eat them, you might fall asleep permanently. Spinner shark up to 10 feet. It's a rec room shark that resembles an oversized black tip, and they're known to leap spinning out of the water while feeding. Epicanthus up to two and a half foot. It's known for its odd shaped dorsal fin, which most likely was only for display purposes. Tiger shark, 20 foot long, fairly recognizable shark. It's a rec room shark, a very dangerous shark that was also likely involved in the USS Indianapolis shark feeding frenzy disaster. Pressure shark, up to 20 feet long. They use their long tail to disable or kill their prey. Whale shark, a plankton eater that's 60 feet long. This one's name is Yushan. 
It's a warm water shark. It's the largest living shark. The picture is the picture is of me swimming with him at the Atlanta Aquarium. He was rescued from a Taiwan fish market. They do like to interact with swimmers. In fact, they while I was in the tank with them, they would swim straight at you and play chicken. And yes, I ducked. There's debate as to whether or not to keep whale sharks in an aquarium. I'll make it simple for you in my eyes. They were rescued from a Taiwanese fish market. They certainly have been killed and eaten by now. So I am okay with them being in the aquarium. Wobble gong shark. It's up to 10 foot long. It's a tropical water shark, sometimes found in fish and chips. That brings us down to the zebra shark, up to eight foot long. Zebra sharks are very smart. One was taught to bark on command at the Chicago Aquarium. However, it did sound more like a seal to me. If you really found one of these sharks interesting, look it up on the internet. Many of these sharks have more interesting facts and videos that I was unable to include. I have strived to be as accurate as possible because information varies from website to website and book to book. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. You may have noticed that most of the sharks in this presentation are critically endangered or threatened. About 120 million sharks are needlessly killed per year by bycatch or shark finning. So please say no to shark fin soup.